everyone, welcome to another daily cinephile vlog. Today we're talking about The Beekeeper. This is a January release, so you always have to be careful about the action movies that are released in January. They turn out to be generic, not too memorable, uh, usually a starring vehicle for that type of actor, something like a Liam Neeson, but as of now it seems like maybe a Jason Statham. Uh, and this one is very much a John Wick ripoff, so for a lot of John Wick fans out there, they... They might notice a lot of similarities, but honestly, for the most part, I had a lot of fun watching The Beekeeper. The movie is just full of lines that reference the fact that he is a beekeeper, and most of his dialogue is uh, built around these monologues relating everything to the hive, to the beehives. It's, it's really ridiculous, and that first kind of took me out of it. I thought the script was being a bit too corny, but as things moved along, I started to understand what the movie was trying to do. The movie has a sense of humor about itself. It also teeters right on the edge of existing in the real world. Ends up delving more into the tone of what you would see from a comic book, like the way that people talk and treat these situations, the way that this organization exists. All the institutions in America are aware of, like the FBI, the CIA, they learn about it and they somehow know about it and it leads all the way to the top, the president. Uh, there's something about that that in a lot of movies it'd be way too much to grasp and, and believe me, at a certain point this movie starts to fall apart. I would say by the third act I don't think everything came together neatly. Uh, things get a little bit messy even though I enjoy a lot of the characters and a lot of the action. Uh, it's just the way that the story ends. I don't know if I really bought into everything, and some of the characters either do some things that aren't believable, or they try to add an honorable approach to other characters, because maybe the studio got a little too scared. But it has that comic book feel where these terms and this situation is acceptable, and as the audience member, you buy into it. It's very similar to John Wick in that way. That's why it is a John Wick ripoff, but I think it's a very good one. Like, some of the stuff they do is so similar. I mean, the guy Jason Statham is playing is avenging the death of someone, but the character played by Josh Hutcherson is the villain, and he doesn't realize that he indirectly caused a beekeeper to come after him and assassinate him. Once a beekeeper decides you need to die, He'll never stop. And does that sound familiar? I mean, that's the stuff from John Wick. I will say, though, compared to John Wick, Josh Hutcherson as the villain, that same role that someone had in John Wick, I actually find his performance to be a lot more memorable here than John Wick because even now as I think about it, I can't remember who that character was in John Wick. Josh Hutcherson's having a lot of fun. Jeremy Irons is good, but there isn't a whole lot for him to work with. And once they add that President of the United States angle into it, it's serious it's kind of cool but as it goes along you start to buy into it less and less and the way it ends it, it's not satisfying i think they just didn't really know how to end the movie but it's still a lot of fun the action sequences are great and david ayer really shows his director's spark with this movie the sets look fabulous he makes the action scenes look great there's even these fbi characters that show up they're meant to be comedic and i actually thought they worked sure one of the fbi agents like it's actually her mother who jason statham is avenging and that connection never felt deep enough for me i didn't think the impact of her mother's death hit her enough and then later in the movie it just didn't seem necessary like it, it seemed like a connection that was only put there because there was no other discernible reason as to why this FBI agent would be on the beekeeper side. Be on the beekeeper side. Overall, it's three and a half out of five stars. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, nothing new or inventive, but a good action movie, especially for the month of January. This is the Jason Statham we like to see.